Now, onto the pro of being a traveling dental hygienist, okay? Um, because I've been a temp and I've been traveling to different offices, I feel like I've gained the experience of someone who has been working in the field for at least three to four years, okay? Because I've been everywhere and I've seen everything, as opposed to a person that I've actually that I've actually been practicing for four years, but has been in one office, been learning from one doctor. I was texting my friend, so I'm gonna tell her, tell you exactly what I told her, and she said, "Thank, thanks for the info. That makes me really wanna, um, wanna attempt." And she was telling me how, like, her body feels tired, and I was telling her. Like, if your body feels tired, that's not the right office for you, boo boo. Because I've been to a few offices, my body felt tired. I felt like I hated hygiene. No, it's not hygiene that you don't like. It's the office. Your body's telling you that's not the right office for you. In my opinion, yeah, because I've been to other offices where I actually really loved it. And I would, and I wanted to, like, be there um, full time, all right? The reason why I didn't, you know, tell them that is because I wanted to travel because I felt free okay being a traveling dental hygienist i could just you know take off whenever i wanted i didn't need to ask for permission i could like literally i've 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 done two weeks vacation and work for like a month or so less if i wanted and and then i would come back and and go for another two weeks vacation and you know no one reprimands you no one is gonna tell you you take too much you know what i mean too much too many too much time off so <sighs> Let me um see, let me tell you what I told her and I'm gonna add some more to it. So I, was telling, I told her, I was tipping for this loan because I love the freedom of going to places like LA, Philly, Canada, New York, whenever I wanted, you know, because I felt like I deserved it. I don't have kids, I'm finally free and have some money. Um, so I'm going to enjoy my life while I can, while I'm still free, you know, while I don't have any kids. Um, two, there were, they were offering me less than what I deserved because they kept saying I don't have experience. Um, and I didn't want what they were offering me. I figured, why be stuck at an office and ask for permission to go on vacation when I could temp, um, make my own schedule, and, you know, ask for more because they'll give it to you because they need temps. When somebody cancels, they actually need you. So, therefore, they'll pay you more. Um... I was going a bit crazy, working six days a week, then go on vacation for two weeks, and then come back, and then go <laughs> on vacation for some more. Um, three, I was able to charge them more, all right? Um, four, that's the fourth reason I was telling her, um, I wanted to have the experience that offices, I wanted to have the experience, you know, of a hygienist, so I don't hear you don't have the experience. Um, when I go to interviews, so we'll pay you less. I didn't want to hear that anymore. Um, which works a lot because I feel like as a temp, because I've been, you know, traveling. I, I, I was, I've was, i been a traveling as a hygienist for a while. Um, I know this is confusing when I say traveling. I do my own personal traveling because I'm a traveling as a hygienist. I can make my own schedule, all right? Um, so, fourth, I was telling her, I wanted to have the experience from different offices. Um, because I've been a temp and I've been traveling to different offices, I feel like I've gained the experience of someone who has been working in the field for at least three to four years, okay? Because I've been everywhere and I've seen everything, as opposed to a person that I've actually, that I've actually been practicing for four years, but has been in one office, been learning from one doctor, you know, I've been learning from you know, one set of, um, you know, office staff, hygienists, like, you know, learning from the same people. Me, I've been, and for one company, I visited 114 offices in the Boston area, okay? Well, Boston, Somerville, and like, Massachusetts, basically, okay? So, that's, that's a lot, and there was this, um, inter I was in this phone interview, and this guy was telling me how, because I've been, I've had only one year of experience, he doesn't want to, He's gonna pay me less, and I was just like, I laughed literally. I couldn't stop laughing because <laughs> I felt I, I felt like he he deserved it because the way his tone was, you know, he was like, "Well, you don't have that much." I was like, "Well, I've gone to 114 offices and one for one company alone." Okay, I didn't even count the other companies, so I've been exposed to a lot and I've seen a lot. So I, I'm 
I was able to like move a lot faster. I, like I was slow for three weeks straight, okay, because I was brand new to the to the field and I was, you know, a new girl to new offices. So I was just like, and I was scared all the time. After the third week, I was like, everything was just all, like I was going a lot faster and yeah, I feel like I've learned a lot and I learned a lot from a lot of dentists, hygienists, dental assistant, the, the staff. They're like, it's been it's been amazing. So that's why I encourage people to, people to uh, tamp. Um, those are the pros, okay? There are some downside of tamping too, but those are the pros. Um, so the first pro, you get paid more um, starting out than everyone else. Um, two, get your foot on the door, get some experience. Like, you know, like right now I feel like I have four years of experience. Even though I've only been practicing for one year, but I feel like I have four because I've been exposed to a lot. Um... yeah here's another pro okay the man like a pro that i really love no office drama okay if there's some drama you know you didn't make this mess you're not gonna you don't have to clean it up you if it if it's directed towards you you don't have to come back to the office because if you have a bad experience at an office you don't have to go back so you just let the tip agency know and they won't send you back to the office and highly flexible schedule and I guess they do have some benefits um, for one company if you accumulate like 30 hours of work time you get like an hour of vacation so I guess like that's a benefit and I think that the agency also have a 401k plan um, I don't think they have health yeah they don't have health insurance they have dental but they don't have health um, the other one they say they are working on the health. I don't. I think that with the grain of salt. I don't really believe them when they say they are working on a health plan. Like, what? In fact, in ten years you're gonna have that? No, I'm gonna seek somewhere else that already has it established. Um, yeah, they don't. Yeah, that's the only. That's the con that I like. The health benefits are not that great.